Thanks this morning for you, God, for your holiness and for your righteousness, for your justice and for your peace. Thank you, God, for being who you are and doing all the things you do. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that delivers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us a right mind. Thank you, Jesus, for strength. Thank you, Jesus, for health. Thank you, Jesus, for even wealth. Thank you, Jesus, for the clothes we're wearing. Thank you, Jesus, for the eyes we see. Thank you, Jesus, for being who you are and doing all you do. Thank you, Jesus. We give thanks to him this morning, for without him we would be nothing. For in him we live and move and have our very being. It is Jesus who's given us access to the Father. He's giving us a kin kingdom. He's giving us hope and joy and peace and power and restoration and reconciliation and hope. He's given us everything that we are and everything that we ever need. So this morning, thank you, Jesus, for who you are. And it's his name we pray and give thanks and give praise. Amen. Amen. sometimes when you're not even thinking about it, a song comes to you and I'm not going to sing, but I can hear the words, the song, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks for the Holy One. Give thanks for He has given Jesus Christ. God this beautiful Easter day, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We give thanks, Lord, because you rose, hallelujah, and you gave us, oh God, the strength on this morning to rise up, hallelujah, and to come before your presence and to give you thanks on this morning. So we give thanks, hallelujah. We give thanks with a grateful heart. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, Lord, and we praise you and we honor you on today, Lord. We give thanks, oh God, for healing on today, Lord. We give thanks, oh God, for our families. Hallelujah. We give thanks for food on our table, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We give thanks for breath in our lungs. Hallelujah. And we give thanks, oh God for each and every day that you bless us, oh God. You bless our going out and you bless our coming in, oh God. And for that, we are grateful, oh God. We give thanks, oh God, hallelujah, that you was with us when we drove here on this morning to come, oh God, and to give you thanks and to give you praise and to give you honor that you deserve, hallelujah, each and every day, hallelujah, oh God. 
Your word says, give them thanks in all things. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for your blood that you shed. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we ask you to cover us, oh, God, with your blood all day long, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we give thanks, oh, God, for how you watched over us as we slept, oh, God, throughout the night, Lord. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give thanks, oh, God, for this building, oh, God, to come and to give you thanks and to give you praise and to give you honor. Oh, God, and we bless your name. And we thank you. We thank you for each and every one, oh, God that has gathered themselves this morning, oh God, to give you thanks, hallelujah, because you, we are so grateful for you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you so much, oh God. We ask you to continue, oh God, to bless us and keep us, oh God. Keep us in the center, of Baba Shatta, in the center of your will, oh God, and we will be forever grateful, oh God, to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made, God. And we bless you, Almighty King. We thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, that he sacrificed his life blameless, without a blemish, without failure, no wrong in him, oh God, for us, your people, God. And we bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you've made this day, and we have a heart and a mind to rejoice and praise you in it on today, God. We dance before you, O oh, Heavenly Father. We lift up our hands in worship, in praise, and in thanksgiving before you, O oh, Mighty King. Not just for this Easter, God, not just on this day, O oh, Heavenly Father, but every day forevermore, God. You're greater, God, than one day, God. You're greater, Lord God, than any man-made holiday, oh, Heavenly Father. You are great and worthy to be praised, Lord. And we praise you on this day, God, in every day of our lives, God. We'll lift you up. We'll give you all the glory, all the praise, God, because you went before us, oh, God. You perfect us, oh, God. You've given us everything that we need for life and godliness, oh God. You have crowned us with glory, oh God. And we thank you for that, God. We thank you, Lord. And we ask, God, that you would just come into this place, God. Have your way, oh mighty King. We ask you to have your way, God. Your will be done on today, God in earth as it is in heaven and we give you the glory in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah come on y'all it's easter it's a re this day represents that god rose from the dead come on we serve a risen savior we serve a risen savior and his name is great jehovah i know one thing i'm excited about it that i serve a risen savior can we just give god praise right there because we serve a risen savior Hallelujah! Woo! Hallelujah! This is a new song, but it is Just catch on. It's real easy. It's real easy. Y'all ready? Come on. Put the hands together. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Put your hands together right here. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Just repeat after me. Jehovah. We praise you, great Jehovah. Your name be lifted high. Your name be lifted high. We praise you, great Jehovah. We praise you, great Jehovah. Your name be lifted high. Your name be lifted high. We praise you, great Jehovah. We praise you, great Jehovah. Your name be lifted high. Your name be lifted high. We praise you, great Jehovah.
about y'all this morning, but I'm excited about God. I'm excited about God. Oh my God. He's Jehovah. He's Jehovah. He's Jehovah. He's worthy of all of our praises. Hallelujah. Ha! He's worthy. He's worthy. How many of y'all know that he's worthy? Can we just lift up our hands and give God glory? Just tell him, God, you're worthy. You're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. The good times, the bad times, the confusing times, you're worthy of it. Because we know that we can't do it without you. So you're worthy, oh God. We give you glory. Oh, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus. The whole song, worthy is, worthy is your name, Jesus. Jesus. You deserve, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, worthy is your name, worthy is your name, worthy is your name. Jesus. Jesus. You deserve, you deserve worthy, worthy. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. of it all. Come on, everybody, say, you're worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. For from you all, and to you all, you deserve, you deserve glory. Hey, you're worthy, you're worthy of it all. We give you glory.
deserve the glory because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all my fears are gone because I know yes I know he holds my future and life his words a living church because he lives you're worthy of it all you're worthy of it Like you and me, that's oh, y'all know it. Come on, that's love, that's love, that's love. Jesus went, Jesus went, Jesus went to Calvary, to Calvary, to Savory, like you and me, that's love. Thank you, God, for loving me. Now can we just get 
give God glory right there? Can we give God glory? If you really believe that you believe that he has rose again for you, if you believe that he has all power in his hand, if you believe that he has all healing in his hand, I need you to give God glory. Come on and give God glory. We serve a risen king. Celebrate with me that we serve a risen king. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. That's who you are. Jehovah Nisi. That's who you are. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I thank God for today. Oh my God. He gave me another chance. He gave me another chance to lift him up because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of my hallelujah. He's worthy of my thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. Yes, he is. Hey, we give you glory. Ah, we give you glory. Come on, come on, come on. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, just stand to your feet all over the building. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise for, thank you, the worship. Hallelujah. What part were you all singing that was just really, all of it was good, but there was a part there you all were singing that was really such a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you can stand, just stand. And I want the singers to come back. Glory to God. Just lift your hands and give God praise in this building. We thank God. That's love. It's an anointing on that part. Come on, lift your hands as high as you can get them. We're here to worship. Indianapolis needs worship was preparing, resting on yesterday, and I get the public safety alerts on my device, about six or seven, about six or seven juveniles downtown, 12 to 17 years old, shooting each other. And that's just one incident. It's happening in that age range almost every day. I met with a new chief about a week and a half ago, and they want our help. And they're asking for our help. Chief Bailey is the new chief. I met over at Panera, and they're asking for our help. So 12 to 17, I told them, I said, I told him about three years ago on the radio and in meetings that the age is going to get deeper and deeper and deeper in the wrong direction. How many of y'all remember it used to be 20s and 30s and 35 and 40? 12? 12? Jesus was 12 when he ministered in the temple. How many of y'all remember at 12, you were just wondering about your Easter suit and your frilly socks? I, I call them frilly socks. I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Bobby socks. 
with the little bow on the side. That was what we were talking about. Not guns and bullets. We're living in a different time. But how many of you all know the blood of Jesus? And that's not how the story ends. Come on, let's lift it up. Let's lift it up. That's not how the story ends. Come on, let's say it. Whoa. Come on, lift your voice and help them say it. Yes. Every day. Help us sing it. Come on, everybody know that. Come on. Come on, sing it. That's not how the story yeah. is. The story is. Three days. He ain't later. He rose again. That's love. That's love. Come on, say it. Say it. That's love. Come on, let's say it again. That's not That's how the story not is. How. That's not how the story help us, is. Help us, help us. Yes. Come on, lift your voice and say Thank you, God, for loving me. Come on, let's say it again. Come on, that's not how the story ends. That's not how the story ends. Yes. In three days, he rose again. That's love. Come on, let's say it again. That's not how. Say it again. That's not how. That's not how the story is. The story is created. He rose again. That's love. That's love. That's He loves us. That's it. Come on. Come on, wave your hand. Come on, wave your hand. Come on, come on, everybody do that. Come on, wave your hand. Give them a wave offering. Come on, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Oh, he loves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want everybody to give him a wave offering. I did a hospital visitation last week, Deacon Pugh, and week before that, Brother Ron Glenn went to the hospital visited Deacon Pugh on Friday. He had open heart surgery. He's recovering very well. Let's give God praise for that. He's recovering. And he had a little pillow that he was hugging. And he said, That's, this is my best friend right now because of the pain. Because of the pain, Brian. He said, I'm, re I'm recovering. This is my best friend. And God spared his life. And I prayed with him and Sister Tanya. They might be watching right now. And as I was leaving the hospital, I looked. Elder Tucker, I looked in every room as I was leaving the hospital. Every room was full. Somebody in every room. Have you noticed that there are cranes at the hospitals? Have you noticed that? Watch where the cranes are. They're not downtown. They're at the hospitals. You know why? Because they know folk coming. They don't invest those millions, and they don't build those new buildings without forecasting that they're going to be full. But aren't you glad that you can do this right here? Come on, oh, how easy. Come on, let's sing that. Oh. He loves. He loves. That's it. Come on, give him a wave off. Oh, 
Come on, give him a wave on. You can wave your hand. He loves us. Come on, say it again. He loves us. He loves us. Yes, he does. Evangelist Carter, one more time. He loves us. He loves us. Oh, how. Oh, how. Oh, how. He loves us. Come on, one more time. One more time. He loves us. He loves us. Oh. Some, just fist bump somebody and tell them he loves you. Come on, fist, some, fist bump somebody and tell them he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Thank you. He loves you. And I do too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. You may be seated if you can. Hallelujah. Good to see you, Tony. Happy. 50, I think, according to Facebook. <laughs> Just stand up real quick. We thank God for Tony. That's Pastor Cookie DeLosa's husband. Good to have you with us today. Appreciate you. It's so good to see my cousins. Amen. Good to see you all today. Amen. Good to see all of you all on this Resurrection Sunday morning also known as Easter. Amen. We thank God for the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Good Friday and Saturday and now Sunday, giving God praise for how he loved us. God so loved us that he gave us his only begotten son. And we thank God for that. We're going to worship the Lord in giving this morning. To those of you who are online, we thank God for you today across America and different parts of the world. Thank you for being with us in this worship service. We thank God for you. The Bible says in Luke 6 and 38, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. That particular verse encourages us to give and there is a promise return that as we give to God in our time, talent, and resources that God will give back to us so much that we won't ha have room to receive it. How many of you all know that God gives back to us in abundance? Yes, he does. We had our taxes prepared on yesterday and that all, that's always a trying time. But uh, Amen. And uh, I am always grateful to God not to have to pay anything. I don't get as much, I don't get as excited about the refund as I get about just not having to pay anything. Amen. If I get $100 back, I am grateful. Amen. If I get more than that back, glory to God. But God will always raise up somebody who will use their power, influence, and authority to help you. 
And I thank God for a great tax preparer. He is just so anointed. Amen. Giving is a wonderful opportunity for us to sow into kingdom. And the Lord has blessed us to do so many wonderful things over the years. On April 1st, we will celebrate just about 29 years of ministry, our church anniversary. Could you give God praise with me for all of this time that we have been able to be a blessing to our community? Three years on the west side and the balance of that time over here on the far east side. When we came out here, there was nothing out here in this area. There was a little farmhouse and a detached garage. And the Lord blessed us, took nothing, and made a world out of it. Some of you all remember how God just blessed us. And um, we have had so many outreaches. Time would not allow us to talk about all the different wonderful things that we have done in our community. I will share this one because it's so wonderful. In 2012, we started what was called the Clean for Green program, which was a mentoring program for young people a jobs program for young people. There are about 30 plus thousand employable youth in Indianapolis. That's a whole lot of young people. Thank you all. That's a whole lot of young people. And um, a large majority of them at that time of all ethnicities were unemployed all year round. But it was the desire of the city to see them have jobs in the summer, summer employment. So God gave us that idea for youth employment at the Cafe Community Center, 8902 East 38th, in one of the community meetings we had there. And Clean for Green was born. And um, at one time in 2015 in this room, we had 500 young people from 26 different zip codes. I think that was 2015. And Chief Height at the time, Richard Height, said it was at that time that we had about the least amount of juvenile violence in Indianapolis that we had, we had ever had, almost zero in 2015. Let's give God praise for that. I'm overwhelmed by your enthusiasm. Can you give God a thunderous appreciation for what he has done? Amen. And so out of that program, um, the city of Indianapolis, when Mayor Joe Hawksett took over, uh, I think it was in 2016, they adopted that program to create what they call Project Indy Today, which is a youth jobs program that goes all over the city of Indianapolis that was modeled after the Clean for Green program. And he came here back then and acknowledged that and thanked us for creating the program. So when I say that we have blessed thousands of young people, I can't even count the number over the years since they've been doing Project Indy uh, for the youth, how many youth lives that we have impacted. That program continues here under the Get Well Now resources. I thank um, Minister Nikki and Pastor DeLosa. They are running that program. Let's give God praise for them. It... Um, operates in the summer and I, in fact it goes year round because we have young people employed here we stream our live services all over the world and it's our young people who are running the stream and they are doing it at broadcast level second to none they are doing an excellent job let's give God praise for them a young man named James works in our janitorial uh, area with Sharita and he gets paid and all of that is clean for green because what I found out is that young people are not just in unemployed in the summer, they unemployed all year round. And when I saw that unemployment numbers among youth even still today were double digits among all ethnicities, among black youth it was as high as 40%. And so I said we can do something about that. And God gave us that idea. Now that's just one thing not to also include the Fervent Care Child Care and Christian Academy that has been running for 26, year, 26 years or so. Pastor D is the 
directors, 27 years. 27 years. My daughters were in that program. And Jamise is 27. And so we started that in the little house uh, that used to be out front. And we'll have some pictures of that in April. And um, I said, Lord, we want to build a building for daycare and um, early childhood. And with almost no money, we built the building over there by faith. I went out there and drew it out on the ground and said, we're going to do it. And whatever you put your faith to will come to you. Amen. I had somebody hold the tape, and we drew it out. And now what we drew out, you can walk out there and you can see it. Amen. And if you go out these doors and look to your left, on the canvas of your imagination, you'll see what is developing now called Gethsemane Gardens. It is a senior housing development that's going to address affordable housing for seniors. In 2030, our seniors will be the largest demographic. I'm not going to ask all the seniors to raise your hand because the 40 is the new 60. So we have not accepted our age. <laughs> so I'll have to wait until you're 80. So you'll say 60 is the new 80. Amen. But it's wonderful to grow old. It's wonderful to age. And so we are preparing 100 units in the front. If you'll use your imagination right now. There's also a walking trail, a half mile walking trail that's going to be out here. A new school right behind here, K through 5. And way in the back, some uh, Tesla tiny homes are going to be back there. Um, so all of that is on paper. We're going to show it to you in April. So um, all, all the time we're working on developing ministry for our community. So those 100 units, it's going to be amazing. Underground parking, it is just going to be fantastic. It's going to have a fresh market in there, um, wellness stuff, herbs for your body, um, just all kind of wonderful things. Fitness is going to be in there, and it's just going to be great. So I said all that to say we need your continued prayerful and financial support. Did you, would you stand with me real quick? Glory to God. Give our musicians our, a hand of appreciation. We are so anointed. We appreciate y'all. Father, I thank you for these tithe offerings and gifts of love that will be sown into the ministry. I thank you, O oh God, for your word. Every seed reproduces after its own kind. And I thank you today, Father God, that you will bless your people for their giving. I pray, Father God, that you would pour out, according to Malachi 3, a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive, that you will rebuke the devourer for our sakes, that you will make us a delightsome land and all nations will call us blessed. I thank you, Father God, for the Deuteronomy 28 blessing on your people, the Ephesians 3.20 blessing, where you will do exceeding abundantly above what we ask or think according to the power of prayer and faith that works in us. We thank you for the Proverbs 3 blessing where you said, when we give the first fruits of all of our increase, when we sow, that our barns will be filled with plenty and our wine presses will burst out with new wine. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Here in the hands of our ushers, if you're giving electronically, God bless you. We do have a chip-enabled credit card reader, debit card reader in the back if you should need that. God bless you. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus, it will never lose its power. Oh, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. 
It will never. It will never. It will never. It will never. It will never lose its power. Power. There is power. Power. There is power. So much power. There is power. So much power. There is power. worship our King and our Lord and our Savior. We have these beautiful dancers that are going to bless us today. Let's give God praise for our young people.
How many of y'all know that it's your winning season? Is it your winning season this morning? Come on, come on, come on. It's your winning season. Everything attached to you wins. Everything attached to you wins. Hallelujah. Everything attached to me wins. Hey, everything attached to me wins. Hey, it's my winning season. It's my winning season. It's my winning season. I don't know about you, but it's my winning season. It's my winning season. No matter how it looks. This is your winning season. Can somebody say this is my winning season? Somebody say this is my winning season. It's my winning season. Hey, it's my winning season, yeah! Come on and put a praise right there. Put a praise right there. Hallelujah. Can you just look at your neighbor and say favor, favor, favor? Favor, favor, favor. This season, favor, favor, favor. It's my time. It's my season. I win. Come on, come on. Can you look at another neighbor and say, I win? <laughs> you gotta say it like you're gonna win. I win. Ah! And now, if you know you're gonna win, put a praise right there. Hallelujah. Ah. Good morning. Good morning, FTC. Didn't they do a good job? Oh my God, they did a great job. And Layla, that doggone Layla, everybody say Layla. She works in the AV, and this is one of the Clean for Green kids. She works in AV, and now, you know, she was like, I'm a, I'm a, I wanna dance. She's been trying to dance since like last year. And she couldn't because she kept being up there. And I just thank God for the opportunity. Y'all, God is so good. I'm telling you, listen to me. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. This time and age, you have to pray for your children. It's too much going on out here. We have to keep our children covered. Amen. I want to just say and reiterate, anniversary is the whole month of April. Y'all say anniversary time. Oh, y'all so dead with it. Anniversary time! Y'all need to be excited. We're going to be celebrating all month, and so we're going to be doing different things. So please look for your calendar, look in your um, emails, your texts, mark them down on your calendar because we're going to be active in April. You hear me? Not that we've never been, but we're going to really be active in April. So I need you guys to be active, okay? Um, April 20th, please mark down in your calendar. It's Women Arise and Total Men. So if you have never been, please come April 20th. Okay, and then this last one, do I, we have any visitors in the house? Just wave at your girl, just wave at your girl. Hey, 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 thank you guys for coming. We hope that something has been said, something that has been sung that encouraged you on today, and we hope that you come back again, amen. Y'all, let's give it a hand for our visitors. Come on, come on, welcome them, amen. And now can we just all stand up, get on our feet, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, get on our feet. We ready for to hear the word on today. The angel of the house, the angel of the house. He's here, he's here, he's ready. And God got a word for us to have on today. Say God bless. God bless. Pastor Jay. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. Now let's give God some praise. Tell God be the glory. Come on, let's give God glory and honor and praise on today. Amen, amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for this word that you have given me for your people. And we thank you for 
your grace upon it and your power upon it. I pray, Father God, that somebody would be saved today. I pray that somebody would be saved in person and online. That even after this message, that somebody will see it at some point in the future and be saved. God, you so loved us that you gave us your only begotten son, and we thank you for that. We understand that without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sins. So we give you praise, and we give you glory. We give you praise, and we give you glory. God, we give you praise, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Elder Foster, for ministering last week. What a word. Thank you. And such a tremendous pulpit team. I thank God for them. Anybody here named Misha? Are you connected closely to someone who, how are you connected? I want to pray for her. Hallelujah. As I was praying there, that name, God gave me to pray for Misha. Glory to God. I want to pray for you too, Melanie. Melanie, can you just stand? Melanie, Minister Melanie J. <laughs> I want to pray for you too. Father, we pray for Misha, and uh, they share the same DNA, Serena and Misha. So as we pray for Serena, we're praying for Misha today, and we thank you for her deliverance, totally and completely. We thank you for her deliverance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every need will be met. In the name of Jesus. Does she live here? McCourtsville? Hallelujah. Has she had, had like anxiety or anything like that that you know of? A major surgery? And so that anxiety. Well, let her know that we prayed for her today. That will encourage her. And I'd like to see her McCordsville, right down the road, and let her know that God remembered her today. Amen. And so as I was praying for her, just uh, seeing her brain, you know, depression is a major issue. There's a lot of people in here depressed right now. The question then is, what's pressing down your feelings? And it's okay to feel. Oftentimes, people get depressed because their experience falls short of their expectation. But we still have to hope. I said, we still have to hope. I ought to pray for everybody that didn't say amen. <laughs> Tell somebody to keep hoping. As Jesse Jackson once said when he was running for president, keep hope alive. That was prophetic. And the profundity of it is that the enemy is always after your hope. From the parking lot to the pulpit, the enemy is after hope. Because if you have no hope, you're hopeless. And if you're hopeless, you have no expectation. And that is when a lot of people check out. Keep hope alive. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Melanie. We thank you for her strength. We thank you for the prophetic anointing on her life. We thank you, Father God. Even now, in the name of Jesus, bless her in every way and keep her in the center of your will. Bless her all around in Jesus' name. Oh, the blood of Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. What's her name? We pray for her now in the name of Jesus. We thank God for her healing. The sister who just left out, we thank God for her healing right now, whatever the case. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, get well now. Anybody here named Marcus or closely connected to a Marcus? How are you connected? Did you raise your hand, Serena? How are you connected? And how are you connected? It's a, it's a, it's. Brother, the brother, your brother brother yeah it's the brother I have to press Holy Spirit for more information is this spooky to some of y'all this was this was regular in the old church amen some people don't like this because they say it's spooky I looked up Brian I looked up the word spooky and spooky one of the synonyms for the word spooky is supernatural let me put some Easter in here for y'all. Wouldn't it have been spooky you come to the tomb of Jesus and he's no longer there? It would have been a little spooky, Lorenzo. You in the water with Elisha and the axe head falls off and goes to the bottom of the lake. And Elisha said, where fell it? And he takes a stick and puts it where it fell. And all of a sudden, the Bible said the axe head did swim. You ain't never saw an axe head swimming. That's some spooky stuff, a.k.a. supernatural. And how many of y'all know we need the supernatural to come back to the church? A lot of what we have, and I'm preaching right now. I'm going to pray for Marcus. But a lot of what we have now is what's called attractional churches. When I got my master's degree in divinity and went through the doctrinal program. I'm writing my thesis on relational leadership. They, talked to, they taught, taught us about attractional churches. An attractional church is always trying to figure out something to attract you. That's the reason why you have pastors jumping out of helicopters. That's the reason why you have people pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Because we're trying to attract people with stuff that has nothing to do with God. I don't, I don't challenge the validity of it. I think that even if the motivation is wrong, the Bible says as long as people are being saved. But let's move beyond that. Father, we thank you for Marcus. We thank you for his healing. Is he having trouble with his legs at all? Do you know? Hmm? He was in a coma last year. So that's the problem with his legs. He and his whole body, in fact, can't walk. How's he walking now? He'll have a total recovery in the name of Jesus. Total recovery. Somebody say total recovery for Marcus in Jesus' name. All right, so let me get you out of here. I know you got a reservation at Longhorn. Let me get you out of here so you can go get your steak. John chapter 2. I had a lot of notes. A whole lot. And I'm not going to be able to get to them. So I'll just kind of summarize some of the stuff that I wrote. In John chapter 2, Jesus turns water into wine. It's an interesting chapter in the canon of the scriptures. I'm going to use the New King James Version, if you all can put that up. And he turns water into wine at the wedding feast in the first episode of John chapter 2. And then in the next episode of John chapter 2, he cleanses the temple. 
and selling different things in there, and they've turned the house of God into a den of thieves. Interesting chapter, because it goes from turning water into wine to whipping people out of the temple to Jesus prophesying about his death, burial, and resurrection. There in verse number 19, he has their attention now, and I think it's important to note that oftentimes God will do things and allow things to happen in your life, in our lives, to get our attention. How many of y'all are witness to that? Sometimes it's light, sometimes it's wonderful, sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's a promotion, sometimes it's a financial blessing, sometimes it's some catastrophic event whereby you would say, God, you have my attention. I think that if any of us had been there at the wedding feast and they ran out of wine and all of a sudden, Jesus turns six full water pots into wine. That was an amazing scene. I think it was amazing that you were at church and then all of a sudden, Jesus got angry. And there's nothing wrong with healthy anger. The Bible says be angry but don't sin because healthy anger helps you to set boundaries. And there's some things we need to get mad about. There's some things we need to get more angry about so that we can set boundaries. And all of a sudden, after that, now he has their attention and he's going to talk about a catastrophic event that's about to happen in his own life. He prophesies about his own death, burial, and resurrection. In verse number 19, Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple. Now, they're in the temple that took some 